To submit your digital portfolio, first you'll have to go ahead and click the share with others icon. Underneath this, you'll see this option for links. Yours may look slightly different than mine, but in general, you should usually see something in the bottom that has an icon to change the links. You're gonna click on that, and when you first open it, yours is gonna say restricted here. So it'll look like this. You want to click on the word restricted and change it to public. Since this is a website, it's a digital portfolio we're posting online, we want other people to be able to see it, not just teachers at our school or our students. After that, you'll click Done. Next, you'll go ahead and click Publish to make sure that your site is published online. Um, there's no changes that I've made to my website right now, so this pops up for me. You're going to have either Changes pop up that you will approve, and then you'll click Publish, where my option is grayed out. Or, if this is your first time publishing the site, you're going to have a box that pops up here where it asks you to name your website. You're going to finish the URL. To name your website, you can just put your name behind the slash. So mine would be slash Miss Minnick Portfolio. After you've published it and you've changed this link over here to public instead of restricted, you're ready to copy your link. You're going to click on this icon. It looks like a link at the top right of your screen and click copy. That's the link you'll take over here to the Google form and paste it in this box. This Google form is linked to the slides where you've been going through the steps to do your portfolio. Um, so this is where you get the link for the Google form. Last, you'll select your grade level and you'll click submit. 